Hello, this is History Shorts with the Artifactual Scholar. Today, I'll be talking about the Chinese Exclusion Act of 1882. The United States is a country of immigrants. All of us came here from somewhere else. Yet, our nation has often struggled with how to treat immigrants. Since the mid-19th century, there has often been suspicion and resentment toward newcomers to the United States. During the 19th century, China was in a state of political chaos. A series of wars against Western powers and internal rebellion had left the Celestial Kingdom in a state of social and economic upheaval. Many in China hoped to escape those difficulties. The United States would provide the opportunity to escape. In 1848, gold was discovered in California. Over the next seven years, the gold rush drew the hopeful and the adventurous from around the globe, including tens of thousands from China. In 1852 alone, more than 20,000 Chinese laborers arrived in San Francisco. During the 1860s, a new labor-intensive enterprise, building the Transcontinental Railroad, was attracting a new generation of Chinese and other foreign workers. Again, thousands of Chinese immigrants were drawn to California and other areas of the West. By 1870, there were about 63,000 Chinese immigrants in the U.S., the vast majority of those in California. As the Chinese population grew in the West, the Chinese immigrants, who were generally willing to take low-paying, menial jobs, were increasingly viewed as a threat to American workers. In addition, the Chinese tended to live in ethnic neighborhoods, or Chinatowns, and were often portrayed in the anti-immigrant press as criminals, opium addicts, and spreaders of disease. As resentment and fear spread, there were many instances of anti-Chinese violence, and calls for state legislation to curtail Chinese freedoms became widespread. Even other disadvantaged ethnic groups, such as Irish immigrants and African Americans, despised the Chinese. Finally, in 1882, political pressure from the Western states and a nationwide suspicion of non-Anglo-Saxon Protestant immigrants led Congress to pass the Chinese Exclusion Act, a bill that prohibited Chinese laborers from entering the U.S. The bill was signed into law by President Chester Arthur. The Chinese Exclusion Act was the first law that restricted immigration into the U.S. on the basis of ethnicity. By the early 20th century, other restrictive laws would limit immigration from Southern and Eastern Europe and impose literacy and political tests on immigrants. The Exclusion Act remained in force until 1943, when, in a show of solidarity with our wartime ally China, Congress repealed it. Fear of the other, other religion, other culture, other ethnicity, has a long and disgraceful history in the United States, and this nativism and xenophobia were largely the basis of the Chinese Exclusion Act. Still, Despite the shifting winds of politics, our country has an enduring promise of freedom and opportunity that will continue to be a beacon for those who are oppressed. This has been History Shorts. Thanks for watching.